It's not over. Stop the fight! No! Everybody, everybody, I come here for everybody. Kill everybody. I'm the champ. I'm the king. Kill everyone. Ah! All right, welcome back to Broke Bets. Here we go with our Blashwitz Rakic uh, full bets for the card thus far. What's up, cars? What's going on, on, mate? Not much, mate. <laughs> um, Let's get this thing rolling. Yeah, all right. So for this week's card, we got uh, 8.2 units on the line to win possibly over nine. Uh, let's, get you, let's get you uh, started on the straight bets. Yeah, our only straight bet this week is Alexander Rakic. Got him at minus 155, and right now he's at like minus 200, minus 205 currently. So I think we're on the good side there. I think he'll be able to keep it at range with them leg kicks and get the job done. Yep. Uh, to, to get into parlays, uh, I've seen quite a few people have this one. Got Tyara and Davy Grant to get the job done. Um, Tyara is, again, we've said submission game, pretty good. Um, kind of one of those prospects in the flyweight division. And Grant's just been more in the tougher fights here, and he's got the power edge, so should get that knockout. You got 1.25 units riding on that. To make us 1.2 back. Like that bet. Uh, next parlay is... Uh, Hadley and Maximov together. I think Hadley might be a little bit harder of a leg to land on this, but um, he he might be able to coast through a decision and, and get the victory here. Also, Neshmento has like not that great a takedown defense, so that, um, he may be able to hold him down on the ground possibly. And then Maximov just didn't have the better gas tank. I might sprinkle on uh, Maximov finish maybe with a David Grant KO just for those two props. It'd be like a plus five hundred, uh, and maybe just put like a tiny bet on it. But uh, next one, we got Michael Johnson, Chukadi, and Rakic and Um I think all of these fighters have a little bit of the edge. I don't trust Johnson that much, but that's why we're not putting much weight on it. We're just gonna see if we can make a unit on that. I've had some good luck recently with some of the extended. Uh, parlays uh, to get into prop bets now um, first one we got is Chukadian uh, just to win by decision she only wins by decision she's never had a finish in the UFC you're going to have 0 0.75 units behind that make 0 0.82 I might cycle that up and double down but I don't want to put too much weight behind her just in case something happens um other one we got, not that confident in this one, but I feel like it's like a 40 to 50% chance that this happens. It would just be hill by points. She might get a split decision, win or loss, um, but I'll take my chances on that. Next one we got is Rakic and uh, Jan to go over three and a half. Like Carson thinks too, like this fight's going to probably be at range, and I wouldn't expect to finish in the early rounds unless. Um, Blashwitz puts himself in danger and blitzes Rockage a lot and maybe even Rockage takes him down and that'll help our bet and then yours you got here yeah I like uh, Tatsu or Tyra and Carlos Candelario under two and a half I think uh, Tyra will be able to get a submission finish or a knockout I I've also noticed that Carlos likes to be like a fast starter so that could be a good one too He's, uh, Tatsuya Tyra, he's finished eight of his ten fights, so. Under two and a half, probably, too, most of them. Yeah, all of them. All yeah. Of them. Um, and then the other one I got, you know, I already had Chukadian by points. Well, we're just going to go over two and a half rounds in that, and we're going to go over two and a half in the Angel the Hill one. I, I think both these are going to go to decision. I, did, I think most people would agree. And then finally, we're going to do, um, Ayan Kutebala. And Ryan Spann would go under one and a half. Kute Ball is a blitzer, man. He comes in, he likes to like, start really fast. And Spann doesn't do the best against these guys. But he's also got some heavy hands, so if he does find his shot, Kute Ball could go down. Um, and then the other leg to this is just going to be Davy Grant and Lewis Schmoltz. They did under two and a half rounds. Schmoltz has gotten knocked out in quite a few fights. And I just think that Davy's going to 
get his hands going early and get this job done. So we did a half unit on that um, to give us a decent payout. And uh, there'll probably be some add-ons. Like I said, the Mashmall finish I'm kind of glancing at. I don't think many people are right in that line. Um, but yeah, any any other things you might add on, Carson? Maybe Tatsuru Tyra submission. Sprinkle. I just looked on DraftKings. That's a plus 200. Yeah, you can... Yeah, maybe even picking around with it could be, be even bigger. Uh, but yeah, this is what we got. Uh, stay tuned to the Instagram for our picks. Um, I probably will have like one or two updates. We'll see. And uh, Carson, you got anything else? Nope. Let's get that cash, baby. That's what we do. Yeah, you sure. All right, y'all. Peace. Peace.